The word of the day is the word tissue. Um, so we're trying to help you see an order uh, or a hierarchy uh, to how living things are. So we'll talk about atoms this year, including the atom critical for organic substances, carbon. Uh, some of the molecules we have talked about and will continue to talk about will be proteins. We know that all living things are made of at least one cell. And today we'll be looking at types of cell or what the word is used is tissue. So things like muscle, skin, and bone are all types of tissue. We'll get our gloves on here and get ready to take a look at our frog and its tissues. All right, so we're not going to go for a ventral dissection immediately, but I'm going to take my sample frog. I do have my uh, tray right nearby. Let me just set that tray down here for a minute, and we'll get the camera so that we can see what's going on here. I'm going to take my tools now that I'm going to actually work, set most of those to the side on the table. Uh, we are not going to go for the scalpel first thing, but we're going to crush right through some bone. We'll use our scissors and we're going to remove the two rear legs, mostly because those are extremely interesting to look at. So nothing fancy here. We're, we're cutting through muscle, which will resist. We're cutting through bone, which will resist more. And what we're going to do is take the torso of the frog, and I'm finding my baggie. We're just going to put that torso away for today because it will be useful for us another day. But we've got that in our little baggie. If we decide today that we want to save any of the tissue we've been working with, again, that can be saved to the baggie. There's lots of ways to go from here, um, but I'm going to uh, move over to a scalpel. I do like my uh, size uh, scalpel here, my number 21 size. I'm going to come along the frog's leg, and we're going to slice, in particular, uh, not too deep. Notice the way I'm holding the scalpel here. Uh, I'm not sawing a, a piece of steak. I am uh, holding this more pencil-like and with short little cutting sequences coming right through the first tissue I meet, which is skin tissue. And we're going to just keep that slice going right down here. If your scalpel isn't slicing skin easily, then it's time for a blade change and we can certainly help you with that. Now that I've sliced through that, uh, I'll, I'm going to just pull this skin right off. So this gets a little weird, uh, but this will work if I just pull on that skin. I'm going to keep my mouth closed just in case there are some juices um, of formaldehyde. And that skin pulls right off. So I get to use my first uh, vocabulary word here. This would be a sample of skin tissue. Uh, some people describe skin as also acting like an organ. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, you'll notice some things on both sides. This is real interesting under a dissecting microscope, so use that. You can see some little uh, capillaries. Uh, that nourish the skin, uh, and you'll notice the melanin uh, that's providing, especially that dorsal coloring. What we've now exposed, and what we're primarily looking at right here, is muscle tissue. So you can see how strong these muscles of the frog's rear leg are. 
and uh, you can see definition on these muscles. Uh, folks that are interested in drawing bodies, um, being able to draw the definition on these different muscles is one of the things uh, that you'll want to work on. And uh, it's a great meeting of the worlds of science and art. I'm going to take a piece of muscle tissue, slice through it, and again, take some off that can be looked at under the dissecting microscope. There are little tools that doctors sometimes do to take a chunk of muscle from a specimen, including people. Uh, and um, what I mostly want you to see is when I pull the muscle apart, uh, it does come apart in long strands or fibers. Uh, you can see some of those little fibrous ends coming off right here. And that is typical of the shape of muscle cells. They're long, they're thin, uh, they wrap around each other, and they are able to contract and uh, relax and expand. If we were to look a little bit deeper in here, eventually we are going to get to some hard tissue or what you know as bone. So here we're getting some of that femur bone, that upper leg bone right here. And uh, I'm just going to work to snap it off. Uh, as I push, we get to some of the connective tissue in here. Um, and I would just come back with a scissor to kind of remove the rest of that femur. And again, you can, uh, I encourage you to look at this under the microscope. Uh, take some of the outer muscle that might still be there off. Um, you can get a look from a cross-section perspective. Um, you might be able to slice through this um, and get a longitudinal section and if one works carefully um, I'm going to go back to my own good advice and simply use the scissor for this part but if you come in that long way you can see some of the internal structures of the bone as well so three tissues today, um, the bone tissue, there we go, got our word on there, bone tissue, the skin tissue, and indeed the muscle tissue. So tomorrow we'll get a uh, look at um, heart and lungs. We'll go in ventrally. See you tomorrow.